In this video, I'll talk about nothingness and non-entity and the relationship between these two. How do we define nothingness? It can be defined as the absence of any creative possibility, the absolute zero. Nothingness is quite a popular concept in philosophy as well as science. For example, one might ask if this universe or anything for that matter is created out of nothingness, who or what created nothingness? And this is a valid existential question. We can actually find the answer to this question within Toph if we understand the concepts of entity, non-entity, and the substance. When discussing these existential concepts, it's impossible to not go beyond the realm of the current human scientific discoveries. I want you to open your mind a bit to receive new information, and I want you to let go of your personal prejudice and your rigidity. First, the substance. The substance is that which subsists itself. It is the primary cause of itself and it is the primary cause of everything. The substance has two main modes and those are entity and non-entity. This is the primary duality of the substance. There's also a main law of the substance and that law is the law of inherence. All is inherent within the substance and the substance is inherent within all. And not just that, all is inherent within each other as well. Dualities are also inherent within each other. The main duality that I told you, which is entity and non-entity, is actually more like a continuum, but not a linear continuum, more like a circular continuum. Entity, as the name implies, is all that exists. It is every being that has reality. It is all that manifests as a real thing. The easiest example would be the tangible reality that you see around you. Like anything, any object that you encounter is entity. You also are entity. You are a differentiated component of entity. Entity is a very general definition of existence. The principal attribute of entity is harmony. For anything to manifest as a real being, there's a process of harmonization and cooperation. The components of entity come together in complex and different ways to stabilize and to harmonize reality itself. There's a cooperation with the universal laws. If components or energy or anything of that matter did not harmonize, nothing would have ever existed in the first place. So harmony is a core attribute of entity. But there's an important point to understand here, and that is the space. The fabric of space-time is also entity. It might appear like it's nothing, but it is not nothing. It's a fabric. It has reality. It is above the quantum realm. It is manifested energy, and it is a medium for the components of entity to move around. So space-time is not non-entity. If space-time is entity, what is non-entity then? Well, to understand that, imagine the entity being born. For example, imagine a universe coming into existence. Now, some things start being produced, right? Energy is clumping up. When something exists, when something is manifested, it is a distinction of what exists and what does not. So it is a distinction of entity and non-entity. Now, remember the law of inherence. Entity is inherent within non-entity and non-entity is inherent within entity. And that's a circular continuum. You can imagine these two modes of substance as one and zero, just like the codes of the matrix. But the difference here, and it's a very huge difference, within the substance, there is no one and there is no zero. Within one, there is zero, and within zero, there is one. And it doesn't end there. Within the one that is in the zero, there is also zero. And it goes to infinity like that in both directions. Within the nature of substance, there is no clear distinctions. Everything operates in a spectral manner. This highly organic nature of the substance is why infinity is inherent within it. And this is actually why human technology is too synthetic to replicate consciousness. And if you want me to talk more about artificial intelligence and consciousness, let me know in the comments. Going back to the main question, is there absolute nothingness? The simple answer to this is no. Because, as I mentioned, absolutes is not real. It is an illusion. Non-entity is not absolute nothingness. But it is the closest you can get to the absolute nothingness. But also, it is the farthest you can get from absolute nothingness. If you want to understand the nature of the substance, 
you need to kind of expand your human perception a bit and you need to be able to hold these paradoxes because all operations are very much paradoxical. How low can non-entity get or how high? At its lowest and its highest, non-entity just contains the possibility of entity within itself. It is a mode of purest potential. Non-entity is the real Tao. It's what cannot be defined because when you define something, you tear it apart and you bring it, you deliver it to the sensory and you differentiate it. This is why non-entity is not definable. It is below the layer of the quantum realm. Imagine the entity being pulled <laughs> out of non-entity through all these layers. It's actually the first existential trauma. It is coming into this realm of differentiation and being pushed out <laughs> from a unity state. Non-entity is the infinite possibility the possibilities of new universes and new realities with laws that are much different than ours, for example. And as non-entity gains more and more reality, it becomes more like entity on the spectrum. And remember, the principal attribute of entity is harmony. The potential for higher harmony is also inherent within entity. This means the components of entity harmonize in complex ways in order to create orderly structures like you, for example. And as this harmony is increased in certain ways, entity becomes more like non-entity on the spectrum. It's quite important to understand this duality because it is embedded in every layer of entity. All dualities are kind of reflections of this main duality. And since we are <laughs> differentiated components of entity, our operations and functions are echoes of this duality as well. So you and me, we both, all of us, embody non-entity. In the upcoming videos, I'll be elaborating more TOF, which is theory of freedom, and I'll help you understand what you really are. I'll help you become the real and the highest version of yourself at core level. I'll help you achieve seamless harmony within in order to help you access and expand the non-entity within you. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.